Welcome back to the channel guys. We are gearing up for a couple massive projects that we got going on in the background. But to facilitate some of those projects, we need parts and parts take a long time to acquire, whether it's because we buy them, we order them, or we have to just go out and look for them. One thing that's gonna really help us facilitate the acquisition of all those parts is what we got going on today. And that's why I wanna introduce you guys to this guy. can see from the bead roll this car is absolutely disgusting luckily we don't need it all we only need a few parts of it we need the steering wheel and the seats and possibly maybe some of the light pods that are inside of it the thing about it is it's actually cheaper to go get the whole car than it is just to find those individual parts what makes it even more cheap is the fact that this one specifically came with no engine and no tranny which we don't need anyway we got no engines, do we? We got no engines, do we? No, we don't, but we don't need it. Normally this thing came with a three and a half liter or 3.3 liter V6, which is the random five speed automatic. And it did come all wheel drive, but like I said, we don't need it. And that actually saves us a little bit of time because what we're eventually gonna do with this thing is after we swoops, after we tear off all the good parts, throw them up for sale so that we can get our money back for the parts that, for the rest of the car that we did pay, and then everything else is gonna get scrapped, tossed into a trailer, and um, see what we get as far as scrap metal prices go. So we got a little bit of work to do. We gotta tear everything out. First we're gonna clean up all this garbage because it's absolutely disgusting and it's terrible to work in a mess. And then we're gonna strip it all down probably the quickest way we possibly can. Cut off whatever we need to cut off that we won't keep and then just collect everything that we do and sort it out into boxes so that we can uh, post it up online and you guys can have your take at it. I don't know what kills them, but it's absolutely disgusting. We were gonna maybe like pressure wash the carpet and save it, but there's no, nothing there's, saving this. Yeah, it's no, too that's bad. Disgusting. Not with that. Oh my gosh. Oh, Getting close. Wash to... the nets. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Don't, don't do that. No! <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible human being. Come dump it. And contaminate your trash can? Ethan, stay very Trash far away. Ethan, come here. Ethan, more. I can, or you want me to try to aim in that hole? Come shovel this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Want something else dead in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another. Ooh. Is there? Oh. Oh, that one just stuck. fell. That this one's stuck. Gross. <laughs> that one's stuck, bro. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. <laughs> no, don't do that. You're going to flick it in. <laughs> 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 get it out of there. Get it out of there. I thought I got out of the way. Oh. It's the wall. No. <laughs> oh. That's gross. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Why you gotta touch me with that glove? <laughs> you gotta take your glove off. <laughs> 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 
You got jokes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you better not puke. I paid for that pizza. <laughs> so good. <good. laughs> <laughs> no, for real. There's like something like we should pray after this. It's <laughs> sick. <laughs> okay, because I ain't got a mask. Mask mandate for this. <laughs> we should have come equipped. <laughs> You made him do this. You <laughs> vacuumed the rest. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> that was pretty you don't good. I wanted to like. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if your Uber showed up with this and there's just like a mess like this? Hop on in. I'll take you to your next destination. the next day but work hasn't stopped so progress report really quick and luckily as you guys might have seen in the time lapse and all day today I got a helper man this guy's been rocking you have no idea just teach him how to use a drill was awesome. it was awesome wasn't it you pulled off so much stuff no joke the majority of the bolts and hardware that uh, got pulled out of here was all this guy right here he learned how to use the drill really well and busted it out. The carpet was absolutely disgusting as you guys saw. We rolled it up, put it in there, and we made a giant pile of all the plastic pieces and everything that are later gonna get chopped up and put into trash bags and hauled off. And then whatever other scrap we can accumulate, we're tossing it in there. Next step is to chop this guy in half. Uh, first, actually, I'm gonna take the roof off. Valentin has already called the sheet metal over here so you can throw it in and weld it in on a Chevy. The rest of it, we're gonna cut it, slice it right down the middle, flip each end over, unbolt the suspension, pull off the wheels, and um, throw it all in the trailer. Keep rocking. A few seconds for you guys, a week for me. Okay. So we're on to cutting off the roof 
and the pillars and then what we're going to do is cut it in sections down the middle and then flip each end over so we can unbolt the subframe and stuff that way we can avoid getting on the ground with jacks and stuff like that we want to chop this guy up so that it can fit in the trailer so that we can go and scrap it thanks buddy so he's already helping me out so let's get to chopping press it okay but it's going to be too loud no you're going to sit right there and it'll be okay uh, where? No, no, no. Right here, right here. Closer up. Closer up. Right here? Yep. Okay. But I want to sit right here. Can you see that in the video? Uh, here. Yeah. 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 Possible? Pretty much follow the windshield line as much of the roof for Valentine as we can get it. We made the other ugliest car ever made. It's a Nissan Murano convertible. It literally looks like a Nissan Murano convertible. It's hideous. No, we just cut off the the winglets, and then we start chopping it up. Still rigid, Toyota. Another day and this is how far we got we dumped it earlier this morning got about 1300 pounds without this guy right here just didn't have time yet this weekend to uh, chop it all up and toss it in there um, but without the seats without the motor without the transmission we still netted 1300 pounds not bad um that was what just about both sub both front subframes it was uh pretty much the whole front clip you guys saw how i was chopping it up and stuff throwing it in there um all that's left on this clip is fuel tanks we got just the uh, the, the outside body itself the outside rear quarters and that's about it and maybe the bumper and stuff like that but it still feels roughly about 600 pounds compared to what we already hauled away. And it was, it was a decent haul. I think we got like 165 bucks for 1,300 pounds, which is crazy because I remember scrap used to be 120 bucks a ton and it seemed like you can never make a ton. Now, brought in 1,300 pounds and I got 165 bucks. So, good deal. Good deal overall. Um, but, full of other parts too. So, compared to the 350 bucks that I've spent to get it here, plus the 50 bucks for a dolly and stuff like that. I'm already winning halfway through there. If you count the front seats, even if I got them out of steel for a hundred bucks for the pair, and then a hundred bucks for the rear uh, benches, which are awesome because they're exactly what I need for this upcoming project. It's perfect. They're perfect. I mean take that out of whatever I already spent over there and that's what well, least 150 bucks if I can get anything off of this just selling it as a part I'm already making money if not 
I sell it as scrap, and it's probably, I don't know, 100 pounds, 100 pounds for two doors, 200 pounds, plus whatever else, plus the use that Valentin's going to get out of, out of that thing right there on his car, it'll come out perfect. Um, but other than that, stick around. I think you guys are going to love this next project that I got going on. What we got from this is actually going to go into two projects. Two projects. So stick around. And if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, anything for the good or the order, go ahead and leave it down below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.